What's going on, people? Um, I'm here to give you the Andy's more detailed version from the last one with pretty much the explanation. So let's go ahead and start with what you're going to need. This is the most important thing, the epoxy glue. That's going to pretty much be an adhesive for any kind of plastic. Got it off of Amazon for like three bucks. You need one of these. They come with the Andes Masters or the Fast Feeds. This is pretty much just the right thickness to get your guard to lay on the, the clippers perfect. And you'll need one of these. This is a used one, an old one I had. I didn't have any more of um, the new ones in stock, so. But if it's used, you're pretty much gonna wanna use alcohol. Spray it all down. You don't want none of that sticky adhesive that's gonna deter the glue from sticking. Spray it down, wipe it off, do what you have to do, pretty much. And this is how we're gonna go ahead and start it. Epoxy glue comes in two, so you gotta mix them together. So you can get any kind of water cap that you need. Get an equal portion. From that side. And this side. I think it's a little stuck from the last time. Okay, we got an equal portion. Go ahead and place the cap. Get that portion, mix it together. Just let it sit there for a little while. And during that time while it's sitting, let's go ahead and get this right here. Okay, with this width, you're gonna wanna go close to the width of it. Doesn't have to be spot on, but just enough to get a good attachment. You'll use your razor blade. And sorry about the lighting. The lighting in my house is awful right now. You're going to go from the thick end. And you can start right here as your guideline. Kind of bring it down. There's going to be a lot of people that say, oh, dangerous. But I've pretty much been using a razor most of my life. So I got it. I got this. And this is going to be perfect size for one of them. Bring that piece out. And it slides right across. Okay, you got this piece. That one piece is about hmm, pretty close to the length we need. And that's gonna work just fine. Okay, from here, we're gonna cut this right down the middle, long ways. Once you feel that pressure, don't put any more pressure because you don't want to cut yourself with the razor. Okay, now you got two pieces. Now let's go ahead and trim them out so we make sure they're solid. Pretty much just lay them on the ground, well on the table. And just swipe it, boom. the side slide you want to be identical well as close as identical as you can lay it on the side take that swipe across okay we're good so now we got these two pieces that are pretty much gonna stick together. I see one piece that needs to be evened out. Okay, 
And I would go off and edit, make everything look perfect on the video, but this is just a raw cut. I'm trying to get it out the way real quick because I got to go shoot a photo session. Okay, now what we're going to do, you want this to sit pretty long ways, about right here. So I put it right there and see, okay, that's going to be perfect. It's going to be a good catch to it. But I do see it's a little bit crooked, so we're going to do a last bit of trimming. That looks good to me. Now we're gonna just get the tweezers. You can scoop one side. Give it a little bit of a coat. Doesn't have to be all super gloppy, but just enough. Go ahead and wipe off the excess on the tail. Get one, clamp it. Okay, I'm sorry about wearing the black glove. I know that makes it kind of hard to see, but we're gonna clamp in here. Dip the gel in there. Get this side. And then where the glue's at right here, just catch it. And then press it against the end. Okay, we gotta press it against the end. The second part, same thing, dip it in the glue. Now all the excess glue you have, you're gonna wanna use that to coat the middle. Push it in the angle, lift up with the tweezers. Boom, now you got that crease right there in the middle. Okay. So now you see we have a piece that goes in. From the side, it's straight up. We're gonna take this tweezer Flip it backwards. And we're just gonna make a coat. Boom. Hit that side, boom. Hit that bottom angle. You want it all the way across, boom. All right, the magnet's gonna catch the, if you got a plastic piece, a plastic tweezer, that's the best. And then swipe it right across, boom. Lean it back. And that's pretty much it. Once this um, has time to cure overnight, it's gonna be a perfect working, never break off. This right here is never broken off. I could put pressure, all kinds of things. And here goes the finished version. Both are 1 16th, and I'll show you. Okay, that, that's pretty much done. You can flick it all day and do whatever you want. But once it has time to cure, it's gonna snap right on. A lot of times when you don't have this attachment on there, and it's just enough to where when you press it under, it's not gonna catch this metal piece. So don't go too high up with it. It's gonna stay on all day, every day. And there's just gonna be people that say, why don't you use the wall premiums? The wall premium guards, they're good guards, but you got the 16th, the 8th, the one and a half, did it too. And these right here, you just use the 16th, the 8th, and go straight into the two, there's no one and a half. They make it where it blends in perfect with the number two, so that's pretty much a detailed version of how I got the guards. It's easy to do, and this will be ready by tomorrow morning. Also, a little bonus, anybody with the style liners, you can modify it. It's gonna work like a champ. It's gonna cut super crispy as long as you have it zero gap, but not too close, you don't wanna cut skin open. But you can modify um, the speed liners with it, no kind of repercussions. I haven't seen it on Instagram, so I forgot to throw that in. All right, you have a great day and enjoy. Your